Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to talk to you about how I failed the Booktubeathon. <laughs> I've been dreading making this video for some time now. Like, Booktubeathon ended some time ago, and I'm just now making this video. I feel really bad. When I started the Booktubeathon, before the Booktubeathon even started, I had made so many plans. I was gonna vlog every day. I was gonna make sure I did all of the video challenges, all the Twitter challenges, and I was gonna, I was gonna do it. But I ended up being very busy, and so I didn't get as much reading done as I wanted to. I just, I failed. Okay, this was my first time doing the Booktubeathon, and I was really excited for it, and I was so pumped. I could not wait for the Booktubeathon to begin, and then it did, and I was busy and I didn't get a lot of reading done, and I didn't get to do the challenges. I only did one of the video challenges. One. One video challenge. And I vlogged twice. So, kind of disappointed in myself. I mean, I guess I couldn't really help that I had so much work to do, but I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to do it with everybody, you know? I feel, I just, I feel bad. So I completed four of the seven reading challenges. Okay, I'm having a blank. I cannot remember what the fifth reading challenge was. But I know I completed read a book with a character that is completely different from yourself, read a book with a person on the cover, um, finish a book in one day, and finish a book completely outside. I completed those challenges, I know that. Day one, I felt like I was going strong. I was working on day one, but I also participated a lot in the reading sprints and Day two, I didn't vlog because I was too busy to vlog. Um, day three, I vlogged and I was also busy that day, but I vlogged and I did some reading. Not as much as I would have liked to, but you know. Day four, my dad had just come back from New York. He was away for two weeks doing a job and so we were having family time. We were also having family time day five, so yeah, I didn't get any reading done. On day six, we were still having family time. So I waited till the end of the day to try to get all my reading out in, to get all my reading in and knock all of my books out, which was really bad considering there was only one day left, or yeah, there was pretty much one day left. But um, on day six, I was able to complete The Last Apprentice, The Revenge of the Witch by Joseph Delaney. Um, and I'm not gonna get into any reviews in this video. I will save that for my monthly wrap up. I got through this on day six. I could have finished this a lot faster if I wasn't as busy. I really couldn't help that I was busy. So I, I don't know. Book one was finished like sometime in the afternoon, I think, something like that. And then I read Wake by Lisa McMahon very late into the night. Actually, I took a break from this book when I was halfway through and my siblings and I we were watching Train to Busan, which was a really, really good movie. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. It's about zombies and it is awesome. Highly, highly recommend it. Anyways, this book, yeah. I ended up finishing it at 8 in the morning. I didn't go to bed at all that night. Oh, wait, wait. Hold up. We're into day 7 now. I forgot to mention, before I started reading this book, I finished The Light of the Fireflies by Paul Penn. Yeah, I read that. So I read The Light of the Fireflies, or listened to The Light of the Fireflies, I listened to the audiobook version, um, finished that before I started this book. So that was two books down, and then I got this one done, I finished it day seven technically because it was eight in the morning, and then I read Purgatory Kabuki, which is a graphic novel, a very short one. But, oh my gosh, I can't wait to tell you guys about this one. I finished this in one sitting, in a day, outside. Look at the cover, it's so beautiful. So I only finished four books. I don't know how many pages I read, but I will tally them all up and put that somewhere around here, somewhere. It'll be somewhere, you'll see it somewhere. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I have to give credit to Ariel Bassett for coming up with such a really awesome challenge. It's a very fun and neat way to try to get everybody to read together, and I like that. But it was just, I don't know, I ended up feeling a lot more exhausted trying to keep up with the social media and the video challenges and read at the same time. Um, now it could be because I had work to do outside of that, but I don't know, it was just really, exhausting and hard to keep up with. 
Would I do it again next year? Absolutely. I would definitely do this again because I love challenges and this is a really fun one. I just... I definitely failed this one. I hope you guys did a lot better than I did in the Booktubeathon if you participated. If you wanna check out the vlogs that I did, I will leave those linked down below. And yeah, I'll try again next year and hope I do better. See you guys next time. <laughs>